My name is Nathaniel Reed, doctor of physical therapy and owner of Reed Physical Therapy. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about the knee and some of the issues that we have a lot of our patients come in with. Um, so first off, if you're looking at the patella, this is your kneecap. So your kneecap actually does not directly connect to the bone. It actually um, sits inside of a tendon here. And then you, you have, this is your thigh, and basically you have some muscles known as the quadriceps that control the position of your kneecap. So if the muscle's tighter on the uh, outside, your knee would likely go out this way. And if it was likely uh, um, tight on the inside, it would go this way. So you'll notice that there are some very special grooves that sit here. So it's got to be just in that exact little place there. Or what happens is it can go off course and rub on some of the wrong surfaces and cause swelling. So that's kind of usually how uh, most knee pains start. Um, of course, athletes, sometimes they, t they either tear the LCL or the MCL. Um, or you've even heard of the ACL. ACL. PCL. So, and then you've also got your meniscus that sits inside there, and that's another common injury. Um, but at the end of the day, a lot of that, a lot of those injuries start the same way. They um, usually there's a malalignment either at the the kneecap or there's a malalignment within the actual joint itself. So, what happens is it's going to scrape on something. It's malaligned, and then it's going to cause swelling, irritation. And then whenever there's muscles in the, in the presence of swelling, uh, the muscles do not work properly. The chemistry is not working right, so you don't have the same strength that you had previously. You're going to have pain, um, loss of motion because the swelling's in there and it's not letting you go. It's, it's basically blocking you from where you want to go. And so um, basically everything starts to create more dysfunction because things are going to get more out of place as those muscles are irritating. So first thing you want to do is you want to get the swelling out of there. Um, uh, we're a one-on-one -on -one, uh, hands-on clinic. And so what we do is we first we want to relax the muscles, use techniques to get out the swelling. Um, and then the, the next thing you would do is we have some machines that we can use to get rid of the swelling where, wherever it is and the knee there. Um, and then once we've got everything in uh, happy as far as the swelling goes, we use hands-on techniques to make sure everything's in line and where it's supposed to be. Um, we can even use tape that works really well. This tape kind of can help stabilize things where it's at while we're trying to stabilize it. Um, another thing that works really well on the muscles that control the patella uh, and, and even some of the muscles in the back that control the, um, some of the other bones is dry needling. Dry needling works really well because it brings blood flow to the area, relaxes the muscles, um, and then what it does is those muscles relax and everything uh, tends to keep in line and also the blood flow can help the area heal. Um, another, th uh, another thing that works really well is educating the patient about exactly what position to sleep in, especially with knees. People sleep funny and a lot of times pull things back out of place. Um, the way they work, the way they drive, um, stretches they can do if they have pain, um, things they can put on it. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot of education so that we can help empower the patient and maintain the progress that they've made while here at Reed Physical Therapy. So please check out our website and call us if you have any questions. Thank you.